Hi everyone, welcome to WYSIWYG Web Builder Tutorials. This is going to be a brief overview of the software to encourage you to look around, get familiar with the software so we can get started building some web pages. There are three basic function areas of the software itself. There is the menu across the top, there's the canvas in the middle where we'll be building our websites, and then there are palettes uh, along the sides on each side. Now the palettes can be repositioned by grabbing on the sides of the canvas and we can actually increase or decrease the size of those if we want to give us more space to work with. We can actually turn them off by clicking on the X's or if we want we can actually pull them apart by just clicking on the gray box on the header, pulling it apart and we can actually turn them into floating boxes if that's what you like as well. Now we can put that back or reposition it anywhere we want by clicking, dragging, and then you'll see these little blue boxes appear. And if I come all the way back over to the side, another one will appear here, and that'll show me exactly where I want to position it. So if I want to put it back where it was, I can do that. If I want to put it down at the bottom, I can click that one, but I'm going to put it back up to the top by just clicking there. And I'm going to make that just a little bit wider. You can also reposition these as far as height and width. So if I want my toolbox a little bit larger, or my site manager or my object manager larger, I can do that as well. So you have some options there as far as repositioning uh, some aspects of the software to make it more user friendly to yourself, so that you can get comfortable and create your own special workspace. Now across the top, your menu bar. On our home tab. We have our basic cut, copy, paste functions. Redo, undo, find, replace. And this is also where you'll come to preview your page. So you can preview it in browser or publish what you've already created thus far. Now there's some other sections here. There's uh, properties and advanced and uh, we're gonna cover those in, a, in, another, in another time. The insert tab is basically a graphical representation of all the tools that are in the toolbox and there are hundreds of them in the toolbox but but you can click and drag or click on any of these and do basically the same thing you can from the toolbox so the page tab is as you would imagine has everything to do related to the page itself when you create a new page import edit page rename clone page background properties, the page properties itself, page HTML if you want to look at that, uh, site HTML. Now the site properties is site-wide, so this would, this would in encounter everything that's in the entire website. There's some other things we're going to get into in a later video, such as these three right here, which is your responsive website tabs. Google Analytics is what you would click if each page has to have their own separate Google Analytics error reports. This is very good for when you come back to your home page, you have a page built out on your canvas, you want to preview it, and it's not looking right. If that is the case, then come back to your page tab, click on your error reports, and see what errors are showing. This may be able to solve your problem without you pulling all your hair out. On the view tab, this is where you can actually turn on and off your, your palettes just in case, as, as an example, let's just say you accidentally turned off your toolbox and you don't know how to get it back on, come up to your view and as you'll see your toolbox is not toggled, toggle it again, it'll turn it back on there for you. Uh, you can also set your guide settings and rulers and then several functions regarding that as far as uh, snap to grid, snap to rulers, etc. Zoom in, zoom out, 100%. Um, and then we're going to some uh, responsive website uh, functions here. We will get into it a later video as well. Now, the Arrange tab is, well, pretty well self-explanatory. We'll cover this in a separate video in and of itself, but it has a large array of functions that if you have multiple things on a page, we can align them or arrange them in various different ways. Um, this is going to be very good and very useful, especially for centering in page, which is right here. 
and we'll we'll cover that in more detail and in, in more aspects as we go along but you'll use that one quite a bit tools well we'll cover all these in a, in a video all in of itself but I just want to let you see where they're at but there's the animation manager the backup manager the extension manager I mean you can go go through and read these all yourselves but just to give you an idea this is where the individual tools are and these are this is different than the toolbox in that the tools are separate kind of programs all in all into themselves and well we'll cover them in, in separate videos probably one by one the help menu you check for updates you got online support and you got your help tab right here now your help tab when you click on it is going to be basically like an encyclopedia so you can actually type in type in menu here list topics and it'll give us a listing of let me stretch this out here a little bit so we can see a little bit better and it'll give us a large array of menu topics so if you need help good place to check this is kind of like the encyclopedia of WYSIWYG web builder right here okay alright now as I mentioned earlier the toolbox hundreds of tools in here this is where you're going to be working out mostly um, to insert uh, text forms uh, different layout aspects different media aspects your navigation bars miscellaneous a lot of these we'll be covering one by one in separate videos just because there's just there's just so much to this so much potential that each one takes some time and I, I basically want you just to, to look around and see where things are the site manager is basically the structure of your site as you build it you'll have the names of your pages here as we go along properties manu uh, properties uh, palette is going to be the properties of whatever is that we're working on we have clicked on at that moment in time right now we just have a blank page so you can see it says page um, we can actually increase decrease the size of the website down here in the bottom right so we can zoom in and zoom out we also have some functions here that deal with responsive websites uh, which we'll cover in in and of itself in a video by itself uh, but that's pretty much the basic overview of the software itself. Like I said, we have palettes, we have the toolbar, and our canvas where we'll start building. Um, and I encourage you just to kind of look around, poke around, get over to the toolbox, you know, pull out maybe the text tool, drag it out, play with it for a little bit, uh, take out your image tool, pull it out, and, and, and just just play with this and, and just get used to where uh, different sections are in the toolbox and um, we will continue in the next video thanks